Hello, I am Devin. And I am Kevin. And we haven't casted in two weeks. Yeah, the last game against, I believe, John Hopkins was a forfeit. So now we are casting the game against uh, UMBC. UMCP against UMBC. With We're these gonna... two schools have a pretty intense rivalry going on yep. for a couple of years. Yep. Do you want to introduce them players? No, how about you do it? That didn't go well at all, but okay. Here, down here we have, as uh, Teal Zerd, we have Zinger XPN representing Who's, who's probably going to lose, but it's okay. No bias there at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and up here on GSL Daybreak, I would like to say, we have Shifty. Good old Shifty. We see him almost every game, because of course. Because team owns yours? I don't get that. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, why is it okay? Oh, he's saying that he can lose and the rest of the team will still win. <laughs> How, how... Screw you, Zinger. <laughs> well, anyways, anyways, we have a TVZ, it looks like. A lot of Terrans in at least our team. Yeah, on our team, there's a lot of Terrans. On other teams, not so much. But then again, you almost never see a Protoss in the in our CSL matches. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, I'm not good enough. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only you. <laughs> I know, right? And, and and Oracle for a while. Well, he, he only played twos and whatever. All right. Yeah, it looks like uh, Standard Wall from Shifty, and still nothing coming from Zinger, so probably gonna get a hatch pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, well, yeah, it looks like a possible 15 hatch, saving up that money. 12 racks, 13 gas coming down for Shifty. Standard play so far from both players. Yep, and there is the hatch, I believe. All right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is gonna be GSL Daybreak, an interesting map. Obviously not a map on the current ladder pool. We have uh, two ramps leading into the natural, one back ramp here, as well as the main ramp here, which is partly, partially obstructed by these rocks right here. And that means the, the rush distance is it's okay, I guess. It's pretty long. If you see the middle, the middle choke is actually blocked by rocks. Oh, that's true. So it's more common to see uh, early pushes around the long way. Yep. To Zonaga's standard standard sub drone is gonna come in here. Just Everything being scouted out. Yeah, there's. There, well, he got he scouted the gas of real anything really. Seventeen pool going down for Zinger. Yep, some poking going on drone. here. <laughs> uh, really late orbital. I wonder if Shifty decided to uh, uh, hold off until he had the sixteenth SCV because now with the barracks taking five more seconds, it actually feels like. The longest wait in the world to try and get that orbital. <laughs> I almost just burned my hand on the cup. Nicely done. Uh, Kevin's drinking tea, and he um, should probably not. Too much information. Try not to pour it all over the computer. <laughs> yes, that would be bad, as if Fraps doesn't crash enough already. Uh, so it looks like Zinger here is a little bit supply blocked. Uh, he's getting his gas very standard. Yep. Uh, it's not the early. It's not before pool gas. But it is a nice early gas. It doesn't look like he'll have speedlings out anytime soon. Yeah, uh, he's gonna have this overlord to come scout the base, kind of. And looks good. like uh, Shifty is going for a very standard reactor uh, helium. Yeah, please. reactor helium. That's nice. Yeah, that's a very great uh, idea. You see that out of the pros. You see it out of um, uh, all the Koreans, the Terran Koreans these days, trying to position themselves outside of a Zerg base and just prevent any moves. Yep. And it actually helps in securing a. Really easy expansion for Terran. You and know, yeah, there, there, there you go. There's down a his command answer. center. But uh, Zinger doing a great job. Uh, he's getting queens at both bases, getting a spine crawler out. So. Yep. And no, we don't have speed going. He'll start it soon. Yeah, I guess. Um, just continuing to drone up a precautionary spine, I guess. Getting a little bit supply blocked. I've heard that before. <laughs> And oh, yeah. no, he's, he's building a road tour, and that's actually perfect really? response. I think he might have seen the reactor. I don't know, has he? Um, he no, he hasn't no, seen anything. He, this is probably just based on pure instinct, I would say. Yeah, that's actually really nice. You know, he's getting yeah. a road tour down nice and early. Or he could be planning to do a surprise push with roaches, because you usually don't see... Roaches this quickly after a fast span from a Zerg. Well, he also hasn't he hasn't overbuilt any Zerglings. He has the spine crawler and the two queens, and that's it. Yeah. And everything else has gone into drones. So <laughs> yeah, the roaches are actually a really great choice for him. Yeah. Sending this in over the Overlord. Yeah, probably gonna confirm his suspicions with whatever bill Shifty's gonna go for. There's really not enough Marines to um, kill that Overlord, so. Yeah. We see what happens. And there. first two Hellions are gonna. 
come out and probably do some damage, maybe. Well, we see what happens when we get there. Yeah. When they get there. Uh, oh, these that's what lanes for. will spot it though. Yeah, they, they were coming out to try and save that. SV. And look at this, we have eight roaches on the way already for Jeez. Zinger. This is great economic play from Zinger. You've made only drones this entire time and queens. Yep. He already has the creep spread down so that he can move his queens over to defend his. Uh, yeah, this ramp. could come pretty unexpected for Shifty. Here come the roaches. Yeah. He sees three. There he goes. He's gonna pull back. Yep. And there's the other five. Wow. And what is he gonna? And he he built wow. seven drones behind this. That's well, amazing. Well, no. Uh, Shifty grabs a watchtower and should see all eight of them. Yeah, he does see them now. Yeah. Bunker's going down at. Uh, I'm assuming at his ramp. Uh, putting a Rax on the yeah, reactor. Getting more Marines. A bunker back there at the top of the ramp. There's yeah. one also at the bottom of the ramp. Yep. And the first tank is not even halfway out. Here comes the eight roaches. This wow. could do some pretty significant damage. Not even that many Marines out. Granted, they're not that great against roaches either. He could win this, like, right now. He's not going to use that bunker on the lower side. I, I suggest he yeah, salvage that immediately. That's pretty out of position. He's I getting mean, another bunker yep. on top of the ramp. That That's bunker's gonna go down immediately. Uh, do we see a salvage? No, loses all hundred minerals on that. Wow. Looks like Zinger's gonna come up and start pushing, do some damage. Those, he does not lose those marines. Lose, oh, loses one, I think. Shifty trying to repair. Ooh, gonna lose the reactor. Yeah. Ooh, that's a rough. That's how. But the tank team. pops out and it's gonna do incredible DPS against these roaches. Yeah, pushes them all back. But the the racks losing the reactor. That's a rough loss. That reactor takes so much time to build and it's hard to lose that 50 gas early Ooh, a run by i don't yeah. really like this decision from shifty but it could do some good damage knowing that all the roaches are in front of his base these these hellions could oh no they're caught yeah they're just running back and forth oh my goodness how many all kills the does he get? Here. gets a decent get, got a fifth four, kill five kills he's got one hellion Whoops. left Come yeah follow it Oh my goodness. Oh, the hell yeah. oh no. final poke. Poke to death. And no, uh, Shifty is now supply blocked. Yeah, and these ro Oh, and at the same time, these roaches are probably just still doing some pressure, but yeah, the tanks are going to fend them off, and Zinger's being smarter than that, it's going to back off now. Yeah, I, I actually would not have agreed with the Hellion run by. I mean, he knew that Zinger had a lot of uh, defense up. He had already scouted with the Hellions. It, w it was a rough choice. I feel like he felt like he had to do that to get some amount of damage in before uh, he lost a lot of his front. But it didn't really do what he needed, and I'm not sure if he will be able to recover from that. But we'll see. He can. He's definitely getting his yep. expansion up right now. Uh, <laughs> Zergwing speed now going down for Zinger. <laughs> he's got a Bailey Ness and, and Lair right after the... Wait, no. No, he had the Lair. The Spire right after the Lair. The, yeah, there the we Spire go. going down. Melee level 1 coming up from, uh, from a yeah. chamber that I haven't even seen yet. There it is. It's down there at the bottom point. Of course. <laughs> and um, so, hatch. so Shifty actually doing a great choice, which is to expand now that he knows he's held off the roaches. Yep. He's going to get his economy up, but he is behind 10 food, which is a, a lot considering this early stage in the game. Yeah, Zinger's going to go and break down these rocks. We'll help out the Zerg army a bit. Looks like Shifty's just might be going for a little push here. Yep, there he yeah, goes. it looks like he's going. Uh, one taken marine game split off. Not the best thing, but... They're just gonna go high yeah. Lee, Lee, One Ling is gonna spot this push coming, as well as the watchtower, so... We'll be... We'll see if Zener will be able to hold. Yeah, it should be interesting, you know, he could, um, do a lot of damage with some good micro, take out all the roaches, uh, he could yeah. push in, maybe even get the hatchery if he's lucky. Uh, but, at the same time, uh, there are 14 Zerglings coming out, and 4 Banelings coming out, 4 Zinger. He can really reinforce this quickly. Yep. Uh, Zinger is taking his third, kind of trying to ninja it back there. Oh, yeah. There's a there's a third all the way at the top left corner. But yeah. Very nice placement by Zinger. Yep. That and one be scouted for a while. Looks like uh, Link Speed did just finish, as well as some uh, more roaches on the way. And yeah, there are the Banelings. And looks like uh, Shifty's just going to go ahead and set up a little contain here, and no, no, he's, no, he's going to pull back. Shooting the back out. I think, he, I think he scanned yeah, the army and decided to run, because yeah, if this army yeah. had run forward, all of that would be dead now. Yeah, that's true. But he lost three SCVs. I don't know where they, those came Probably from. Probably just to repair, but a little misranker there. Did take out a uh, little creep, but I mean, there's a, plenty of queens yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of queens here. Yeah. And looks like, no, that's not an expansion. It's finally a starport for Shifty. Yep. And if we look at the income tab, it looks like uh, they're actually fairly, fairly even. even. Wow. Wow, that's, that's surprising. Nice. Uh, that's a 
Yeah, that's a nice recovery from Zinger after losing those five drones. Uh, he's now ahead in the worker count. Yep. Even though he's even on bases and has plenty of units. So that's a great job from Zinger there. Yeah, I guess Zinger did take a little economic hit from the early eight roaches instead of droning. And his Mews are now coming out with flyers, attack level one, and a 20 food advantage over Shifty right now. Just two Mutas, actually. He's got three more on the way. That's true. Um... Okay, Overlord placement, I guess. Should be able to spot drops if they do come, I guess. It'd be nice if there were some drops right around now, but with Mutalisks out, it's worth Yeah, it's a, it's a big deterrent to drops. So here some, come some uh, Mutas, maybe, No. Um, yeah, three more is going to come by. The secret Mutas. They stand and they watch. <laughs> yeah, drone transfer going for Zinger. Shifty and being smart, already throwing turrets out the... Probably at his main and his. Yep, there's one in his natural already. Yep. He just knows his timing as well. Getting another eBay down. Uh, he, yeah, these Mews are going to be completely denied by the, the Marines. Marines. And the Marines are about to finish plus one attack. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Zinger is researching, you know, the centrifugal hooks for those banelings. He's getting road speed as well. And flyer attacks level one about to finish. He already has melee level one. So on the upgrade front, Zinger is getting a nice advantage. Yep. And it looks like Shifty's going to be going for one of his signature drops. going to go right S by this. Signature. I mean, he does that a lot, but it's going to get... It's going to go right through the Terrans overboard. Terrans have the signature drops. <laughs> and oh, yeah, wow. these Mutas, that's he's the power of the Mutas. That. It's just going to take this out. Is Shifty even going to... There he goes. Uh, yeah, he gets a few Marines out, but they get taken out one by one. They get cleaned up really fast. So this drop... I mean, if Shifty decides to go down this avenue, then... He would be pretty much unobstructed. Uh, there's there's spine crawlers. There's plenty of defense. I mean, yeah, but at least the entire force First would be intercepted. First, we build base, then be defensive. Uh, did he get to see the the third hatchery by um, doing that drop? Let's see. He saw. Oh, the creep. yeah, he saw the creep. So, it's so safe yeah, to he assume. knows it's there. Yep, and I have to note that Zinger has great act mobility with his, with his uh, Zerg army, constantly moving it around, and mm -hmm. yeah. He's now he's, he's extending that food lead already up to like 25 food. And, yep. Uh, ooh, ooh just mutas are the mutas come in. All oh, they get a tank. And I didn't see many mutas died. I think maybe one died yeah. maximum. And it looks like shifty is gear shifty is gearing up to take his thirds. Not that good of a third. Just well, I think it's patches. actually a nice place. It's the best I place mean, you yeah, can really put it, considering uh, his army. His army's very slow. Zinger's is very fast. If he had put it in the third in the back, he'd have to run his marines everywhere and split them up, and then he'd be very open to a direct attack from Zinger. Yeah, that's this is, true. This is easily the best place he can go. Uh, I don't really like the positioning on the tanks. I think he should keep some tanks on the south part because there is the possibility of a runaround through the third for Zinger. Yep, a lot of avenues uh, both players can abuse here. Abuse here. Zinger grabbing his fourth here, and yeah, still moving his army around quite a lot. Mina's gonna come in and Ooh, be nice immediately ball. deterred by the turrets. There's a nice good amount of yep. turrets here. So it looks like Shifty will indeed be able to secure this third here. Yep. Bunker going down. This is very nice. He's already got his Marines spread out. He has a good amount of tanks. I don't think uh, Zinger could break this if he tried to push right now. Yep. Uh, and uh, But Zinger is getting melee level 2, Carapace level 1. At the same time, Shifty getting all sorts of upgrades. Level 2 attack, yeah. combat shields, level 1 for his tanks, level 1 armor for his units. Very, very nice. nice. Very nice upgrade uh, list from Shifty. But at the same time, Zinger is getting close to max. He's on 4 base, almost getting hive tech, so... And he's not in a bad Zerg position either. Yeah. Up and here come a bunch of mutas for harassment. Being very conservative, but oh no, here comes oh, a big push, push actually. Wow, getting tons of marines with those banelings. Another yeah. big baneling hit. Tanks doing oh my goodness. tons of damage, but the muta is gonna come through and start firing on these tanks. But some reinforcement marines from the back wow. force off the mutas, and then the tanks are gonna clean up the rest. Great hold from Shifty. Yeah, that was an incredible defense by Shifty. I'm pretty sure he wasn't expecting that push, but yeah, that was pretty well orchestrated from both players. I think he may have lost a lot of SCVs, though, and he still is behind in the food count. Not by as much. Oh, no, he's actually ahead. Oh, he's ahead in the food count. Wow. With mules, too. That's incredible. So Shifty, knowing that he probably came out ahead in that engagement, is going to decide to push forward, but his army may be cleaved right in half. And yeah, there's a great amount of reinforcements coming up from Zinger. Yeah. And what's this? Oh, his army split itself again. Yeah, so... Around the uh, watchtowers. He really needs to be careful about that. So he's going to pull everything back. 
Yeah, uh, gonna go for one more drop. A signature drop, if you will. But, oh, actually an SCV in there, but whatever. But again, it looks like he's gonna be going right into this pack of mutas. Oh, that's rough. But if we look at the production tab, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, Shifty well, notices that. And the Mutas didn't see it. They're going to run away. <laughs> but uh, well, as, as we see, the job, Shifty. Shifty getting Thors out now. Uh, Zinger now getting Adrenal Glands for Zerglings. Getting the Melee level 3, Carapace level 2, as Macron, well as an, like Ultralis, an Ultralis Cavern just went down. Oh, it looks like Zinger is looking to, looking to be aggressive right here. Supplies are fairly even. Um, yeah, these Mutas aren't going to do much damage. Shifty is doing a pretty good job denying all Muta Harass with well-placed turrets, swords, and marines. Yeah, this is a great job from Shifty, trying to hold the line, but Zinger's macro is absolutely incredible. He's getting three Ultralists out right now with the uh, Chitinous Plating, I believe it's called. Uh, but then again, Shifty himself is getting level 3 attack for his uh, Marines. Yeah, it looks like Zinger's going to be grabbing his 5th because he has total map control right now. There's another command center going up for Shifty, probably in his base. Yep, there it is. Yep. Maybe hoping to take that backdoor 3rd. But like I said, if Zinger decided to run in through that 3rd, he could do a lot of damage. Those tanks are yeah. very far forward and very immobile. Oh, it looks like these Mutas are going to find a sweet spot here and abuse ooh, that. get a lot of damage. Yeah, Marines are going to fend them off, but ooh, look at this positioning of Zinger's yeah, army. This is great. He, so he's gonna swing in here ooh, right now. Shifty has a rough spot here. There's a lot of SCVs being transferred and the Mutas can do so much damage yeah. to them. And the Marines can't move out alone They can because they can just all die to the Lings and Roaches. That's a great sweet spot that uh, Zinger found there. But then again, Zinger fell behind in the food count. Yeah, I mean, he probably chose not to push because he didn't have any bands, but oh, look at this. We have Two two ultras and coming four in. More on the way. Yeah, ultras pretty good. Good, yeah, good, good against big they're, packs of marines. They're gonna be three four in a second. His chitinous planing is about to four finish. Four ultras melee coming. And yeah, uh, Zinger is grabbing his sixth Ooh, as well. And Shifty's making Vikings. That is the wrong decision. He has not seen the ultra list yet. He probably assumes Broodlords are on yeah. the way. Yeah. And yeah, wow. <laughs> Both players looking to expand, but yeah, Zinger's just going crazy with this. Yeah, Zinger's taking everywhere. all the expands, and that's the expansion on the south side. It actually should be Shifty's. Yeah. Uh, but Shifty instead deciding to expand to the north. Uh, I wouldn't actually agree with that. The the one more south on, uh, down here. Yeah, this, the, yeah, that base should be Shifty's, and the one on its left should be Shifty's because they feed directly towards that center where he's holding. Yeah, it looks like Shifty does realize that even this space has been taken. And yeah. Oh man, both players are now maxed. We will likely see a huge engagement. Looks like oh. Zinger might be pushing in pushing here. Pushing in with all his ultra lists. Yeah, Shifty might be in. Shifty had to siege up, but oh he's goodness. doing a great job splitting those Marines. All yeah, the tanks up now. Things. The Vikings are not doing much. They're just shooting at the Mutalists. It looks like this great tank line here is going to do great amounts of damage to these ultra but they the are second. Well at 4 3 upgrades. 3 4. 3 4. They get a... Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah. Three attack, four carapace. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, looks like Shifty, I think he knows that this is probably a golden moment to yeah, push. This is his best time to push, but every unit he kills means more Ultralist reinforcing. He's going to take out this base, it looks like. Yeah, four more Ultras on the way. Greater Spire as well. But one thing I have to note is that Zinger's creep spread isn't the best. Yeah, he's not spreading that, that creep, but he has so many bases. He could have a yeah, he could have a great amount of speed, but then at the same time, his units are already exceptionally mobile. He doesn't really need that kind of speed advantage right yep. now. Yeah, but Shifty just gonna go ahead and take out two of Zinger's expansions yeah, right this is there. Great. He could actually if he pushes forward with his max star yeah. and a good amount of reinforcements. He's uh, let's see where he's pushing. He's, it looks like he's gonna go up to the top and take out this base. Yep, not a bad where's, choice. Uh, where's Zinger's army right now? Uh, Z he's just part oh, of Yeah, and he and he got scanned too. That's a lot of ultras too. Oh my god. Oh my god. But he looks like he's pushing in with the ultras. Everything Whoa. spread out. Oh my god, the marines are not bane. moving. They're stinned. Ooh, he Whoa. loses all of his marines with the bane explosion. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And, and the ultras, the ultras are gonna take out the rest. Clean up absolutely everything. Oh my goodness. Everything is absolutely obliterated. Shifty just, just supply just plummeting. Yeah, it just dropped straight to 120 immediately, and Zinger lost 10 wow. points in that engagement. Then again, he is making 78 zerglings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you can do when you're pretty much on like four to five bases. Oh my goodness, it looks like Shifty probably wasn't paying attention in that engagement. Yeah, I think that was a big blunder. Had he kept those Marines alive, this uh, that battle would not have gone so well in Zinger's favor. And yeah, Shifty already, I mean, Zinger already remaxed is gonna just plow through everything here, it looks like. Yeah, pushing forward, getting, uh, getting all these buildings here. 
Not enough tanks to hold off these units. Oh man. So many ultra whips. Jeez. Yeah, it's ult already at five three now. Yeah, they're they're, they're almost oh, they're if you go to production yeah. tab, it's almost done. Yeah, so they're gonna done. be fully upgraded in just a second. These players are just going at it, but it looks like Zinger might be able to overwhelm Shifty here. Great Marine Micro though, he's keeping them alive yeah. as long as possible. So many ultras have died in this engagement. Now SCB's the SCB's come to, off the line. Forced to pull off the line. Oh my goodness. But three three two Marines are still a force to be reckoned with. Looks like everything's going down. Lots yeah. Of every, everything just slowly dying. Roach is even coming into the fray. Wow. Oh my goodness. But a very even game. Look at that unit's lost to him. Yeah. Looks like Shifty might be able to hold this. Wow, he held it off. But That's not not, at, not without a lot of loss. Yeah. Oh, little planetary forces here are going to yep. get, get a Roach. <laughs> He got ready to repair it, and then there just wasn't anything there. Yeah. So he's gonna have to put those SCBs back online. Takes out this. That but yeah, if Shifty's at A supply right now, and Zinger's like almost double that supply. Yep. Over double, if I can do math. <laughs> exactly. Which apparently. In general, you just can't. Yeah. Ooh, he's gonna run in, but then he's gonna run back. That's a little bit of anti micro there. He can take a lot of damage. Four Especially with Marauders right. coming out and Vikings on the ground. Yep. Shit Go to the so production tab, see what's coming out of everyone. Yeah, wow, Corruptor is coming out now. So it looks like we might see some Broodlords in the near future. And that sucks right as Shifty made that transition to Marauders. Yeah, it looks like a s desperation draw from Shifty trying to get back into the game. But yeah, Shifty is... He defended pretty well after all this really aggressive pushes, but I would have, still have to say he's kind of on the back foot right now. And four Broodlords morphing in, four Zinger oh, man. right now. I don't know if Shifty has anything to do with that. Oh, where, are you, where are the Broodlords on the map? Are they in the map? Yep, right there. Yep. Here come oh the my Broodlords goodness. and Banelings, a bunch of 25 Banelings. Wow. Mutalist, Broodlord, Ultralist, Baneling force. Yeah. So this is a, a very, very deadly late game Zerg composition. And this is actually great macro from both players. Both of them still have incredibly yeah. little money. And Zinger now getting his first set of Infestors out on the field. Oh He's man, and here investors. comes a big death push. Finally, three, five Ultras. Just Ridiculous, 500 HP on those things. Mm -hmm. They take very little damage, My especially goodness. from Marines. They're going to see the planetary back up a little bit. And here come the Broodlords. Yep, Zinger's once it's, against Max, and... That's going to be hard to hold on. Yeah, Broodlings, bro uh, not Broodlings. Yeah, everything is rolling in. So the Banelings just take out everything. Yeah, they didn't even, the Banelings took out the tanks. GG yeah. well played out of 50. Wow. wow. That was a great game. It was. It was rough that Shifty ended up losing that in the end because he had a great maxed army, and I feel like if he had micro away from those banelings at, in that engagement, he would have had a much uh, better chance. Yeah, looks like Shifty wasn't really paying attention. That was really the critical engagement, make or break the game. But yeah, great, great gameplay from both players. Of course, top tier masters, both of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a bunch of masters on both of these teams. It's yeah. Really nice. And yeah, looks like that's going to be game one of UMCP against UMBC. We are down 1-0. Uh, Stay tuned for game two.